On behalf of the bride and groom families, thank you for bringing us all together. We, uh, we're thankful that we're here to celebrate the beginning of the life of Jenna and Max and their, their new life together as they uh, go forward from here. Jenna, I'm so blessed to have a best friend like you. I would like to start at my eighth grade birthday party. If I never invited you, I wouldn't have the lifetime friend I have now. You've impacted my life so much with your generous heart and your crazy personality. Our memories hold a special place in my heart. You have always been a friend that is there for everyone, no matter how they are or no matter the case. <laughs> oh my goodness. You look beautiful, sweetheart. Oh my gosh. From you using french fries to pretend you were a walrus, to all of our crazy adventures at cheer competitions, to our family trips, to just hanging out, the memories we have made will last a lifetime. So I read online that they say a good best man speech is supposed to last as long as it takes to groom in bed. <laughs> Appreciate everybody for coming. <laughs> Max and I share many memories together and have been knowing him for so long, I feel like I got to know his dad, Chris. And I feel like tonight wouldn't be complete without saying how proud and happy Chris would be of Max and Jen. But I also know how lucky Max was to have gotten another great father in Tim, who loves him like his very own. <laughs> Needless to say, we had a great childhood growing up. And then in our senior year of high school, Max met Jenna. I had known Jenna for a few years before they got together. So when he said he was gonna ask her out, it was easy for me to say go for it, because I already knew how great she was. And then you fast forward five years to where we are tonight. And when I look back over those years, all I can think about is how happy Jenna has made Max. And I know it's just the beginning of your beautiful life together. When you moved to be with Max, I knew it was the beginning of something special. No matter how far you are, our friendship is still really super strong. It's been made stronger. I'm so happy that you and Max have found each other to have such an amazing relationship. Please, all, can we please take a moment and thank Max for his service in the Marines. I'm so happy you made the first move at the basketball game because Jenna definitely had the hots for you. I knew you would be the one for her, no doubt. Max, I do have some words for you though. You're a great guy. I'm so happy that Jenna has found someone like you. You treat her like a princess and would do anything for her. Most of you all know that the Murleys and the Steins have a special bond. We're not just friends, we're family. I've known Jenna since the time she was born. I've watched her grow to this beautiful woman before us today. I've been here from the beginning of this romance, watching them grow together as a couple. From high school till today, we've seen them celebrate holidays, birthdays, go to prom together. Max leaving for the Marines. As a couple, they just fit together. I really appreciate you for making me your best man, but everybody, this is the best man right here. And one more thing, one more thing before I go. I've been, um, where is it? I've been scraping this together since you guys started dating. So here's $200 <laughs> and assorted coins. Um, have fun, you know, taking that to the bank. But everybody, let's raise a glass to this happy couple. 
Just have a great night. Love you guys. Love you guys. Jenna Elizabeth Merley. You show me a type of love and support I never thought imaginable. You're my best friend and number one driving force, constantly pushing me to exceed my own expectations. You are my lighthouse in the rough seas guiding me home and the anchor that keeps me grounded. Max Andrew Cole, I love you with my whole heart. They always say not to tell a soul what you wish for because it might not come true. But here we are, so now I can tell everybody that I wish for you. I promise to be true to you, to support you, to challenge you, and share with you the beautiful moments of life. I promise to never go to bed angry, always kiss you goodnight, and to laugh and cry with you through the good and the bad times. I promise to devote 100% of myself to you and our marriage, and I will be your biggest supporter in every endeavor that you take on. I vow to love you unconditionally, regardless of how many Gilmore Girl marathons you force me to sit through. <laughs> And I can't imagine a life without you. I can't wait to continue this crazy journey with you. I love you a whole lot. I know that our love for each other will never fade, and we will continue to grow side by side in this lifetime and the next, because we are soulmates. You are the love of my life, my lobster. <laughs> Now that Jenna and Max have made their lifelong vows to each other, they've chosen to symbolize the joining of their two lives by participating in a very special ceremonial ritual. Guys, bring out the shots. Intertwine your arms as you are your life. If everyone can help me, cheer the couple on and say bottoms up. With the power vested in me in the state of Florida, it is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Max, please kiss your bride. <laughs>